She was diagnosed with cancer, raised 37. Sonny V2's videos are fire, bro. I don't know how he does it, but he's just entertaining. Thousand, but was given a heavy sentence as the cancer never existed. Born Wait, this reminds us of somebody. Wait, chat, let's hear the first eight seconds. Chat, who does this remind you of? She was diagnosed with cancer, raised 37,000, but was given <laughs> a, a heavy sentence. At Yo! Yo, wait! <laughs> she only faked it once, guys. Let's not, let's not spread, let's not spread tyranny here. She only faked it once. Cancer raised 37,000, but was given a heavy sentence as the cancer never existed. Well, Bobby, like Born in March 2003, her name is Madison Russo, and she was a University of Iowa student when she began feeling, quote, just a little bit off. She experienced sporadic fevers, some bloody stools and random nosebleeds, leading to a checkup with her university doctor. On the 10th of February 2022, at the age of only 19, Maddie was given a diagnosis diagnosis she never could have predicted. I got the call from my oncologist and they found a mass on my pancreas and I had stage two pancreatic cancer. She'd buy her local news in which she'd stand by her original story. My phone rang and it said Iowa City Oncology. I stepped out of the classroom and took the call. They told me they had found a mass on my pancreas and that I had stage two pancreatic cancer. I was terrified and I definitely still am. I I was in shock. I didn't think it could be true. I'm so young and I wondered how this could happen. I went through all the emotions and I was pretty numb. I remember hanging up the phone and I was a mess. I was literally bawling, but somehow I ended up getting- Yo guys, well jokes aside, like, do you guys feel it in your ass right now? Like, I'm being serious. Like, when you watch something and it, like, has to do with, like, bodies, like, I start feeling it in my body. I'm like, thank God I don't have it. Alhamdulillah. Like, I start think thanking God that I don't have it. But now I just, my ass is kind of feeling kind of weird right now. Like, I think my mind's playing tricks on me. <clears throat> Let me pucker up my ass a little bit. Like, I'm being serious, by the way. I'm not joking. This is not a joke. This is not a joke, by the way. Like, you just start feeling weird. Like, your body's playing tricks on you. <laughs> this guy said, oh, your pancreas is not in your ass, you retard. <laughs> the courage to wipe away my tears and went back into class which now when i think about it was pretty crazy you never want to get cancer and if you do get diagnosed you can't choose where you get it of all the ones why does it have to be this one again implying to everyone that she'd been given the worst cancer possible to make matters worse surgery was not an option as my tumor is on the tail of my pancreas and it's very deep rooted doctors said that if they went in the surgery would do more harm there was more risk than reward, and as a result, she'd instead be doing 15 rounds of oral chemotherapy along with 90 rounds of radiation. She document. I think my dad's starting radiation on Monday, by the way, Jeff. I forgot to tell you guys that. Zeal, Baba. Zeal, zeal. The journey as a way to help her cope, trying to act as an example that she could maintain looks and lifestyle. She'd write, round 14 of chemo ended last Friday and by Sunday night, I decided to throw on my running shoes and He's see where they took me. Yep. Well, they took me six miles. I'm thinking the bags of blood I received earlier in the week fueled this one and made me speedy, although to a person with leukemia named Anna Tower, this was again very strange. She How wrote, when I saw Maddie's post about her going for a run, she looked pretty. She had all her hair and was strong enough to go running. A run I was missing since my diagnosis. <laughs> so there I was. No way this bitch is running six miles while doing chemo. No shot. Yeah, she was a strong woman. You know, she definitely didn't fake it, Sealer. She definitely didn't fake it. I was sitting on the couch, looking at that post, <laughs> and asking myself what was I doing wrong? Why was I bored, weak, and couldn't He's even alive. think about uh, walking, let alone the, running? See, walking to the car to get to the hospital was a challenge. I was thinking I did something wrong, or maybe that I was- Hold on, I can't even run six miles, and I'm not even doing chemo, man. Bro, running six miles without stopping? Like, you are a fucking weapon if you do that. I swear to God you are. If you could jog at a fast pace and control your breathing and run six miles, you're commendable. You're literally commendable. You're an honorable man and you deserve it like a f***ing badge. ...was not strong enough, passively implying Maddie's appearance was also highly suspicious. People began to ask, how do you have chemo and keep all that beautiful hair? To which she'd post the following video. Order, that's not much. 
Really? So maybe to you guys. My cardio is ass. See, I work out in the gym and I like build my body a bit and I'm kind of lean. But in terms of cardio, my cardio is ass. Like absolute ass. I should probably start adding cardio to my workouts. Well, I am keeping my hair um, during treatment with chemo and radiation. My mom found this. Um, it's biotin with collagen and keratin. Maddie claimed that she'd kept her hair by using vitamin supplements, but with comments like, I guess the bio- Hold on, even the fattest guy in the military could do six miles. Okay, now you guys are just making shit up. You're telling me you could run six miles without stopping? No, bro, cap. Like, that's cap. Like, you're lying. You're lying. Some of you guys are just literally capping. Like, no. No, some of you guys don't know what six miles is, it seems. Like, so, no, no. I, re I reckon, bro, that's what I'm saying. Chat, I'm telling you, at least 80% of you guys cannot run six miles without stopping. I'm telling you. No, no. Oh, no. No, no. Like, like I'm telling you, you're, you're not... Like, guys, guys, cap. Cap. Like, I'm sorry, but that's just cap. Like, n not all of you guys can run six miles without stopping. I can't do that. I'm, I probably even can't even do half of that. Oh, the 90% of this chat can't run one or two miles. Oh, I know. Bro, it's hard. You, people are acting like six miles is like a small amount. <laughs> like, that's where you... Six miles with a car would take like six minutes. Driving at like 50 miles per hour. Oh, what math is that? 80% of people can't walk three miles on a treadmill without stopping. Oh, what is the percentage of people able to run two miles? According to fitness experts, a rough estimate would be that around 50% of the general population could run two miles without stopping, assuming a moderate fitness level. And this number could greatly depend on factors like age, activity level, and health conditions. So they're automatically assuming that you have like a moderate fitness level too. They're automatically assuming you have that with two miles. You see six miles, triple that now. Okay, now it's just giving the same answer because it's dumbass AI. And by, by the way, you guys are all RuneScape players like me. A lot of you guys are not moderate fitness level. Let's just stop right there, okay? Let's just stop right there. And definitely not America. America has the most fattest motherfuckers ever. Oh my God, America is like the epitome of fat. They're, it's just, no. To make matters worse, surgery was not an option as my tumor is on the tail of my pancreas and it's very deep rooted. Doctors said that if they went in, the surgery would- Hold on, I used to be 42% on BMI. 42% on BMI? What's BMI again? I forgot. BMI. Body mass index. Damn, 42% is crazy. Do more harm. There was more risk than reward. And as a result, she'd instead be doing 15 rounds of oral chemotherapy. Yeah, now I'm only 25. That's still f***ing terrible, but good job. You're working towards it. I love that. Yeah. Keep it going, bro. Let's get that to at least 15%. <laughs> okay. Okay, lowering up the defense level a little bit. Oh, the 25 is good? Is it actually? What is the normal BMI in United States of America? It's fucking Google piece of shit. Like, do the context clues, you know? 25 to 29.9 is overweight. A normal body mass index in the U.S. is between 18.5 and 24.9. 18.5 to 24.9 is healthy weight. Under 18.5, underweight. Well, that's America, you, you potato. I know, I know. I searched up America for a reason. Is the percentage of obese people in America. As of 2022, the obesity rate in the United States is over 41% for adults.
How do I ask a better uh, uh, obese question? Is America filled with obese people? The latest data indicate that 40% of the U.S. adults are obese. That's fucking crazy, bro. Like, well, that's crazy. That means it's almost half people in the United States are fat. No, that's crazy. Like, that's crazy. No, no. <laughs> How many people in the United States are considered overweight? According to the CDC, about 74% of adults in the United States are overweight including nearly 43% who are obese. That's, that's three-fourths, guys. Who, who's, who's part of the one-fourth like me? Who is it? Who's part of the one-fourth? Gee! 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 Who's, who be working out and moderating their fitness, gentlemen? Gee! 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 Who's with me? Who's one of the one-fourth? Me, oh, me! <laughs> We're winners, gentlemen. This guy said, oh, I'm part of the three-fourths crew. Yup, wait, what? Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Let's let's get you right, bro. Let's get you right. It's time to start gymming. Let's get you right. It's time to start gymming. Bro, order your 410. Yeah, I'm 5'7. Therapy, uh, along with 90 rounds of radiation. She documented the journey as a way to help her cope, trying to act as an example uh, that she could maintain looks and lifestyle. She'd write, round 14 of chemo ended last Friday and by Sunday night, I decided to throw on my running shoes and see where they took me. Well, they took me six miles. I'm thinking the bags of blood I received earlier in the week fueled this one and made me speedy. Although to a person with leukemia named Anna Tower, this was again very very strange. She wrote, when I saw Maddie's post about her going for a run, she looked pretty. She had all her hair and was strong enough to go running, a run I was missing since my diagnosis. So there I was sitting on the couch, looking at that post and asking myself what was I doing wrong? Why was I bald, weak, and couldn't even think about walking, let alone running? Walking to the car to get to the hospital was a challenge. I was thinking I did something wrong, or maybe that I was not strong enough, passively implying Maddie's appearance was also highly suspicious. People began to ask, how do you have chemo and keep all that beautiful hair? To which she'd post the following video. How I am keeping my hair um, during treatment with chemo and radiation. My mom found this. Um, it's biotin with collagen and keratin. Maddie claimed that she'd kept her hair by using vitamin supplements, but with comments like, I guess the biotin is stronger than the chemo, she'd adjust her claim stating it did fall out sometimes. I was like brushing my hair and a few like pieces were like coming out as I was brushing my hair. She'd post this photo to show she wasn't lying, but it was pretty damn obvious these were simply from a haircut. Additionally, Maddie was super tanned in every single photo, which again was weird as they don't let you tan or use self tanners during chemo. Her response, get this, was that the radiation treatment was keeping her golden brown. Maybe this radiation was also also recharging her energy as Maddie gave talks at St. Ambrose University, the SAU Generosity Night, and for the National Pancreas Foundation. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, these guys are like, like, I know that's mad random for me to say, but damn. Like, imagine faking, like, a very bad illness. Well, that means, like, you're mental or something. Like, there's something wrong with you. I swear there's something wrong with you. In the process, she'd appear on podcasts. How would you define the term pancreatic cancer? Um, the first word that comes to mind is just ugly. Before announcing she'd gotten a second type of cancer. It is with heartbreak and shock. <laughs> this guy said, Oda, are you faking being bold for views? Yeah, give me a second while I grow my hair back. Give me a second that I share the news that my cancer has spread to my blood <laughs> and is acute lymphoblastic leukemia on top of my original diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. It is with a heartbreak and shock I share the news that my cancer has spread to my blood and is acute lymphoblastic leukemia on top of my original diagnosis of pancreatic ca cancer. No way she's doing double lies. Double lies now, chat. She's doubling down. She's saying that she's diagnosed with another one now. 
cancer should therefore update her GoFundMe, writing Maddie's cancer has been progressively getting worse and has spread all over her body, including throughout her blood and also on her spine. She's tried everything and given it her all. Chemo, radiation and other methods have no longer helped. As a result, donations flooded in, totaling $37,800. Maddie's close family friend Peggy Ohl, whose husband died of pancreatic cancer, also sent Maddie a whole package of support materials, including $500 in gift cards. To keep the money rolling in, Maddie befriended a fellow cancer patient named Charlie, who passed away in October 22, leading Maddie to make the following post. This just absolutely breaks my heart. Charlie and I would text each other daily, talking about all the ups and downs of- you No way she's just like using her death as well and acting and wants people to feel sad. Oh my God. Both our battles with cancer, and she was seriously just a sweet, genuine soul. We were the same age, lived within minutes of each other, and could relate to each other 100%. Sadly, it seemed Maddie's cancer was also getting worse, as she'd post a compilation showing everything she'd been through. Included were photos of her in hospital, although it would be through these that Maddie was finally exposed. TikToker scrub hacks who worked inside a hospital noticed Maddie's medical equipment was installed incorrectly. What is going on with that chest port? I am not a chemo nurse, but this doesn't look like a port to me. The dressing is really screwed up with her feeding tube that's not primed. Let's go closer to her nose. Is that the end? Of the feeding tube. One comment clarified chemo nurse here and that ain't a port, again confirmed by a medical doctor. So you can see that the actual positioning of the port per se is not accurate. Also, the way that it's secured, the type of tape that's used, is not the same clinical tape that we would use in the hospital. Compare Maddie's port to that of Anna Tower, and the difference is almost comical. And I don't know if you've ever seen a cancer port. They're not usually this sloppy. But the equipment problems didn't end there. There's nothing in that bag. This would be where the nutrition would be. And if she was actually being fed via feeding tube, this tube would be full of this white liquid. There's nothing in that. So she would just be pumping air into her stomach. Other photos featured the same inaccuracies. Here's another one. No substances in the tubing. And her port is still messy. Also, do you see that right there? That little purple spot? Yeah, that's supposed to be down in her stomach. All of which were taken not inside a hospital, but instead her own apartment. Every other photo was simply found on Google. This is a picture she posted. That is a European outlet. This picture is from Google. Except for some other extremely shameful posts. This picture alone should put her in jail. She took this picture, drained from chemo era. This was on her TikTok. Somebody reverse image searched it and found an actual person with cancer. She literally stole this photo. Oh my God. Oh my God. Maddie took photos of actual cancer patients and posted them to her TikTok as if they were her own. Well, as a result, police received a report that Russo had taken money and donations from more than 439 donors. This is not Emily is pro. Emily is pro faked cancer and she was like, you know, she faked cancer, right? But this is Emily is pro parenthesis, I parenthesis. This is Emily is pro imbued. This is like ultimate fakery leading to a warrant to search the Bettendorf apartment of Madison Marie Russo. There, police found a brown paper bag with medical supplies, an IV pole with a feeding pump filled with cotton balls, two boxes of transparent dressing and a wig, plus a brand new 2023 Kia Sportage purchased with her GoFundMe money. Police then searched Maddie's medical records taken from Genesis Trinity, which showed that although Russo was a patient, she was never treated for any cancers or tumors. Police therefore froze her bank account and Maddie was arrested. Six months later, Maddie appeared in court, making the wild claim that she had a broken family and faking cancer was her strategy to bring them back together. I didn't do this for money or greed. I didn't what? do this for attention. I did this in an attempt to try and get my family back together. It didn't work and it only got worse. Maddie's lawyer then explained how being Please, exposed ruined summer. Maddie's life. At the gym, She's had people approach her and verbally accost her. She has been at the store where she's been flipped off and cursed at and yelled at. Although those who were deceived still demanded extra punishment. I hope Maddie Russo is held responsible. I hope Maddie Russo has to spend a great deal of time in jail. I hope Maddie Russo has to pay restitution. She preyed on my emotions and my giving nature.
sure. The judge determined that Maddie had shown remorse. I doubt that you will ever commit a crime like this again. But still charged her with first degree theft. As a result, Maddie was given a 10 year suspended prison sentence, 100 hours of community service, a $1,370 fine, and she was ordered to repay $39,000 to those who donated to her GoFundMe. However, her donors still weren't happy. As a pancreatic cancer patient who donated to her, GoFundMe refunded the money. This <laughs> when somebody in the chat said, I think her punishment should be given actual cancer. Oh my God, somebody said just give her cancer. She did fake it though, she did fake it. To be fair, she did fake it. Oh my God, oh my God.